All right, I'm back with another first impression review video. Um, like I said in the last one, the big four ended up releasing three new collections all in one day in conjunction with their new website reveal, which I will be talking about also in another video. But um, I just posted McCall's first impression. And now we're going to look at Butterick's first impression. This is what I'm guessing is everybody's spring collection. The last one we saw from a lot of these folks was early spring. So I'm assuming these are just their regular spring um, releases. So let's take a look. First up, we have a wrap skirt in two lengths. Um, this one says wrap skirt has ties on the left front, concealed button tab on the right side, narrow hems and length variations. Um, I'm getting very much like beach cover up here, but they're making it like where you wear it, not at the beach. Like these girls have high heels on. Um, so yeah, you can't really see much from, from here. I'm guessing what's happening is there's like an actual like full skirt under here and there's just an extra panel maybe. We didn't get much in the description, did we? Oh, here's the back. We do have a couple darts okay that's promising and I was trying to see if I could see in the hem if there's multiple fronts but I couldn't see that oh no it's legitimately a wrap skirt wow okay yeah so you wrap it around yourself this little tab um, hooks onto a button and then these two things like tie to each other um, they're recommending linen blends rayon chali lightweight denim crepe um, yeah, I totally agree with all of those. Um, I also think, what else could you get away with? Yeah, I mean, I think that pretty much covers it. I do think since it is like a true wrap, um, you could lean into that as a pool cover up and use some like mesh, um, eyelet, lace, you know, those kind of like, um, see-through types of fabrics and, and have like a really well-made um, swim cover up. Why not? Um, all you need is one um, half inch button. This is alphanumeric sizing. So it's going from extra small to 2XL, um, which is numerically size four through 26. So that gives us a waist measurement of somewhere around 22 to 41 and a half finished garment wise. Um, that takes us, there's about two and a half inches of ease. So it'll take you up to a 42 and a half inch waist. Um, hip has about four inches of ease in it. So Butterick is not normally known for being the most size inclusive. Um, but isn't this the brand? No, that's new look. Um, so we'll have to see if they've, if they've, you know, adopted the same sort of, um, rules. I don't know what you want to call them as McCall's and know me for sure and simplicity. I think those three are the, the most size inclusive right now. Um, and then I would probably say butter. It comes next. And then gosh, I guess, I guess new look and then Vogue. I don't know. That might be debatable as to which one of those is the least inclusive. Um, all right. Their next pattern is a women's top pullover semi fitted through bust has a faux faux wrap V neckline with an elastic waist, narrow hems, length and sleeve variations and purchased bias facings. Okay. This is not something really new. Um, we've seen this design before. Um, it's a raglan sleeve, elastic waist top. Um, you could obviously lengthen this to make it a dress, but here we have two sleeve options. You could definitely play around with these and do, you know, different kinds of sleeves as well. Um, not something super, you know, fashion forward or trendy. I will say peplum tops are like coming back, um, which, okay, I'm here for that, but I don't know if I should, I don't know if I want to go back to making this particular style again. Um, like it's not special enough, but that could just be me and kind of where I'm at in my sewing journey. Like I'm kind of feeling like I'm only making things that I know I'm going to love, not necessarily making things just to cover my body. If that makes sense. Like in the past, it was always just like, oh yeah, I would buy that from the store. So why don't I make it? And now it's a little bit 
more like quality over quantity. I don't know. Well, that, 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 that thought is still developing. So don't hold me to it. Okay. Um, they are suggesting rayon chalet lawn, crepe de chine and gauze. Yeah. I also think you could do, you know, other rayon fabrics. You could do some lightweight cotton blends, like a cotton rayon, for example. Um, certainly all the polyesters and the silky types and all of that would be really great for this too. All right, so this one is a women's pattern. Okay, so it's size 20 up to 38. So the answer to my question is yes, Butterick is on it with the size inclusivity. Um, the, oh, and it's, oh, elastic thread for smocking. So it is a smocked waist, truly. It's not elastic casings. Yay for them because they've been calling smocking and shuring those words and then it's just been elastic casings. I don't know that I've, maybe one other time they've actually correctly um, called smocking and shuring what it really is. So good for them. Okay, so um, yeah, hard to say with this pattern because it is so loose fitting everywhere, but the bust is a 42 to 60 body measurement and then you have five and a half inches of ease. And then the waist, you know, pre-taking it all in, there's a ton of ease there, and then also a ton at the waist, or at the hip. So um, very forgiving fit-wise, always, always start with your bust measurement, and then for this, make sure that it fits really well at the shoulder. Um, let me see if I can look at hers. Because you don't want it falling off. This would have the tendency to do that because it's open in the front, basically, with this, with this wrap situation. Um, so you just want to make sure that the length through here is good. Um, hers looks okay. Yeah. I don't feel like she feels like she needs to be pulling it up any. <laughs> if I'm just like putting myself in her shoes. Okay. So that women's top. Great. Um, now we have this same pattern as a PDF. And I notated too in the McCall's review that it's interesting to me that the PDF patterns and the paper patterns are the exact same price. I don't understand why you wouldn't buy the one with the stuff all printed out for you unless you didn't want to pay shipping. But are you really, I don't know, that, that, that seems weird to me. Um, then here's the PDF version of this one. I think that's how it's going to be throughout. Are they going to... Or just those two get PDFs. And the McCall's one, they only had one um, PDF pattern. So I, I don't know. Um, the time will tell with that. I think that's still definitely kind of in the works for them. So we'll see. But this is a Palmer Plush shirt. If you've never sewn a Palmer Plush pattern before, there are like lines on the pattern pieces that show you how to make specific adjustments. So you're going to be doing tissue fitting. That's the method that they, I don't know if they invented it, but it's definitely the one that they hang their hat on. And then you'll be able to like follow the lines that are drawn on the pattern pieces to check different places for fit. And then they'll show you how to make those alterations. So fitted shirts have collar, yoke, back pleats, stitch hem, and sleeve variation. View A has a long sleeve shirt with flat pockets and an inverted pleat. View B has short sleeves with a longer back. View C is sleeveless with patch pockets, side slits, and a longer back. Um, what I've noticed about Palmer Plush is they do tend to be more basic, right? I don't think they're trying to give you something super trendy here because what you're inevitably focusing on is not necessarily the design, but the fit. Um, so you will get a great fitting button front shirt. Um, I will say though, I'm already noticing here, there's an issue and I think it's stemming from this bicep because if you look at hers, she has the same thing. So there might be some issue going on with the, the width of the bicep. I, I wouldn't normally say anything if it weren't happening on both of them. Um, so that's just interesting thing to note. But yeah, you'll do like a lot of really great finishing techniques and it will fit you better than any other shirt if you really do take the time to do all of the all of the things. I highly doubt they called in these models though and tissue fit them and you know did all of that stuff. They're still at the end of the day just fit models. But yeah. So you'll get three 
I mean, they all look very different to me, you know? So, but very traditional, very standardized button front shirt pattern. Here's the back. Broadcloth, cotton blend, seersucker, gingham, and light, gingham? Gingham and lightweight denim. You'll need buttons for the button front. This one goes from 8 to 24. That gives you a bust measurement of 31 and a half up to 46. Um, it looks like there are six inches of ease in the bust, which is pretty generous. Um, so yeah, very well fitting top pattern. If that's something you really want to focus on this year, this is a good one to try. Lots of great design details, as you can see with the darting and the collar and the, the, front shoulder and the yoke and all of that gathers in the back. Okay, next we have another Palmer plush. Okay, yeah. This is a top. Semi-fitted tops have princess seams, back button closure, and hem and neckline variations. Tops A and B are short sleeves. Tops C and D are sleeveless. So I guess really what you're going to be learning here is how to fit a princess seamed bodice with or without sleeves. And then they give you these um, hem variations with the slits or the scallops. A few different necklines too. We've got a V-neck, more of a rounded neck, square, and notched so lots of options the fit here is much better you can see even though she's got her hand up a little bit um that little bubble isn't happening might be a little bit big through here but like i said again i'm 99 percent sure these are just fit models um and these these patterns were not made for their bodies i don't think i want to see the back Oh, okay. Buttons all the way down the back. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Good. Line drawings look normal. Okay. Cotton and cotton blends. Rayon, PK, Chanton, Crepe de Chine, Georgette, Tencel, Tissue Fail. Uh, lightweight linen blends, like lots and lots of options in terms of fabrication. I mean, that pretty much covers it. <laughs> um, five buttons for the back, and then sizes 8 to 24 again. It looks like they're giving A, B, C, D bust, but that's all the cups, so it's not like I don't think you get separate pattern pieces for cup sizes, but I do definitely think they teach you how to do a full bust adjustment, without a doubt. Um, so again, pretty roomy, four or five inches of ease in this one too. And you would have like, if you got both of those shirts, you'd have a button front uh, block that fit really well, and you would have a um, princess seam block that fit really well. And then from there, you can really just make your own designs, right? Okay, here is a Mrs. Dress and Sash followed by the women's version. So, pullover dress has elastic waist, bust darts, faux wrap skirt with side front and side back seams, neckline and hem flounces with baby hems, neck facing, thread carriers, and matching sash. View A is sleeveless and has self Bias armhole facings. View B has long bishop sleeves with button cuffs and pleat opening. So look kind of like a standard button down sleeve. So I, I, you know, I have made dresses like this one as well. Um, I love a flounce. Uh, I love a pull on dress. I would have immediately gotten this a few years ago, but Again, it kind of feels like been there, done that. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, matter of fact, the the most recent dress I did for the sew along had this flounce, um, and I'm going through all my clothes right now from uh, Me Made May, 
trying them all on. Um, and I've come across many of them that have this flounce and I'm feeling like I'm giving most of them away or selling them because they feel a little bit dated to me. But here we are looking at the same thing again. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I know for sure. I don't have, I'm not wearing that anymore. I, maybe when I had my office job, I was, um, maybe like for church or I guess it for like a wedding guest or like a, you know, brunch type of thing. But yeah, it's just not my style anymore. Not that it's not cute. It is, um, I don't know. It just, I just feel like we've been down this road and it isn't like, it isn't like a trend that's cycled back. It, you know, it's too recent for that. It's only been like three or four years. So it almost, it almost kind of feels like they just had this like in their draft folder for a while. <laughs> they were like, now's the time. Um, they're recommending Charmeuse, Crepe de Chine, Rayon Chalet, and Lawn. 4 to 20 on the size range on this one. But again, we do have a women's version. And it looks like the bust has a finished uh, measurement of 35 inches. So that gives us 5.5 inches of ease in the bust. That's a lot. That's a lot. So pretty roomy. Yeah, the the waist is really doing all the work here with the elastic. Um, but you can see a lot of that ease in the back here. Let's look at the women's version. Okay, they made up the sleeveless version for her. Yeah, I mean, it is really pretty. But I don't know that I'm I'm really going for dressing pretty right now in my life, you know? Like, pretty is not the priority. Uh, 20 to 38 in the sizing here. That takes us from a 42-inch bust to a 60-inch bust. Um, and again, 4 inches of ease in the bust area for this one. All right, next we have a printed version and a PDF version of this uh, Mrs. Dress. A-line wrap dress has fitted bodice, collar, neck facings, waist ties, side seam pockets, and length variations. View A has long sleeves with wide button cuffs. View B has short sleeves with sleeve bands. A-line wrap dress with fitted bodice. Okay. We had a wrap dress in the McCall's collection, but it did not have a collar. Um, long bust starts here. This fits her really well. The waist is sitting at the waist. The bust start ends where it should. You have this long sleeve with the buttons, the button cuff, or you have this short puff sleeve. They both have gathers at the shoulder with this little band, and this one's a little bit longer than the blue one. Yeah, again, very pretty right? Like pretty like work wear though. Let's see. Linen blends, crepe jersey, crepe de chine, and cotton blends for sure. I feel like they had some kind of like, oh, they probably used crepe on the blue one for sure. Um, six buttons for the sleeve on A and this is size eight to 26. So that's a body measurement, um, let's do the waist, of 24 to 41. Finished measurement-wise, there are two inches of ease in the waist, but obviously since it is a wrap, I, I think that you can fudge that a little bit, an inch here or there. Um, there's three inches in the bust and then five in the hip. So... That would be considered like a semi-fitted dress. I like the collar dress situation. I just don't know that I would reach for it very much. Like when I leave the house, I'm going to teach sewing classes. I'm going to run errands. Like even for date night, our date nights are even kind of more casual, you know? Okay, so now we have a 
another top slash tunic. Don't, is it just me? All of these feel like very dated. Like we, we did tunics. We did half placket tunics. Hmm. Very loose fitting top or tunic has dropped shoulders, long sleeves, neck band, front button closure, and length and hemline variations. View A has a front placket. View B has a front band and shaped high-low hem. I mean, fair enough. Like, okay. It's cute, but I, it's like I've had this in my pattern stash and already given it away. Or sold it or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, I've been through this and came out the other side and didn't want to go back all enough. So I went ahead and just sold the pattern. Um, certainly not going to buy a new one. The back is cuter than the front. I do like that gathered detail back there. Um, linen blends, crepe, chalet, chambray, cotton shirting. I feel like they use some kind of gauze on the white one that they made up. Four or eight buttons, depending on the version you're making. And this is goes from size to uh, this goes from size eight to twenty six. Um, it's just very roomy, so you have gosh fifteen inches of ease in the bust. Um, so yeah, it's just I'm not spending a lot of time on each of these because they're not all that exciting. Just kind of are what they are right now. Um, Okay, here's the PDF version of that. No, this is a different one. Okay, so that's that one. This is this one. Okay, so this is just like that dress we looked at, no? With Shuri? Hold on. Wrap front. Is it not this? Yes, it has to be. Okay, okay, okay. So that's the women's version of this. Okay, well, look at the version they made for her. The sleeve is pretty. I do feel like this shoulder fits her a little bit differently. It's much higher on her shoulder than the women's version. And that can just be because I find that plus size women, typically their, the, the top of their shoulders is narrower than straight size women. I don't, what are we calling that these days? I don't know. Like lower size ranged women. <laughs> um, so there's just a lot less like of the hanger. If you want to think of your shoulders like a hanger, there's just a lot less um, length there for you to hang, you know, the garment on. But yeah, that's much higher. That's like up on her neck. Whereas the plus size version wasn't. And I also feel like this was a lot more scoopy. So again, when you're doing the plus size version of anything, if you're plus size and you're making your own clothes, the shoulder, 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 like start there. Um, and I think you will find um, once you get those adjustments, then the circumference stuff kind of all starts to fall into place too. But getting the shoulder length right, making sure it hits you high enough, getting the slope of your shoulder right too, all of that. Okay. I was like, I know I've seen that before, that top. Okay, so now that's the PDF version. And it looks like the PDF version is just the one size. Let me see if they have it all here. Yeah, weird, right? Like PDF, you should be able to put them all in there. And maybe that would justify the price of it being so much, but nope. Okay, so next up we have this. This is the first time I'm seeing something that feels remotely like recently designed. Um, and it's still not great, don't get me wrong, but at least I feel like this was designed in the last year. Um, loose fitting tops have dropped shoulders, side slits, long sleeves with button cuffs and pleat opening. View A has a collar, collar band, patch pocket and front ties. You also get the pants, but they don't talk about the pants at all in this little thing, in the description. So, top A and top B does, so, okay, so B has buttons and A is kind of like a wrap. 
I like the wrap version. Does anyone else think it's weird that it's wrapping right underneath her bust? Like maybe down here somewhere, a couple of inches lower? Or is it being pulled up that way? The line drawings will tell us what the intention was. Drop shoulder, interesting um, hemline. The back fits really well. And no, they want it way up there underneath the bust line. Interesting. Well, you can move that to wherever you want. Um, they're recommending rayon blends, crepe, cotton blends, poplin, and sateen. Sateen's an interesting choice. We still haven't seen the pants. No one's talking about the pants. From what I can tell, there's just a couple of darts in the front and back, a side zipper. Um, so there, it's like faced. For, but, for A, which is the tie top, you need four buttons for the sleeves. View B, which is the button front, you need eight buttons. View C, which is the pants, you need one invisible zipper, one hook and eye, and then grow grain ribbon. So I think it's faced with the ribbon and then you zip it up. So kind of actually like a well-designed pant, it's too bad nobody's mentioned it, mentioned it at all. I assumed it was going to be like pull on, like elastic. And that's why they weren't mentioning it. But yeah, I think this is kind of cool. This is cool and interesting. Like I could see somebody making this, like I wouldn't style it this way at all, but um, I could see this being nice. Imagine it in like white linen or white gauze and you're like near the beach, you know, and maybe you, maybe you widen the leg opening a little bit, make it more of like a, like a wide leg pan and then you've got some sandals. You know, I, I do think there's hope for this one. Okay, next, I'm really hating having to scroll down like this every single time. All right, next we've got what they, what I know and love as a um, wardrobe, right? Um, this is like an entire capsule collection all in one pattern. Um, so this one includes a jacket, skirt, and pants, semi-fitted, partially lined jacket, has a notched collar, shoulder pads, princess seams, welt pockets, two piece sleeve with button trim, bias A-line skirt, bias, okay, it's a bias cut skirt, um, A-line has elastic waist and narrow hem, and then full length pants have side front pockets and side seam zipper. All right, let's get into these. So flat front pant, very classic. This is very much like a Banana Republic, very much like an Ann Taylor, um, but you just make it at home. So if you've got a job or a lifestyle that lends itself to wearing suits or like business attire, just get this one pattern, you know, and just make a blue one, a black one, a gray one, and you're set. You just change out your little top and you're good to go. But the pants, yeah, super nice looking pants. This is, I said, an a, a bias cut skirt, so it's going to fit your curves beautifully. I've yet to see a bias cut on any body, on any shape that doesn't make you look just like bomb. Like you just, it's just so flattering on every single figure. Um, and then, yeah, more of the jacket, more of the pants and skirt. And then they just got some purchase tank tops. Yeah, just, you know, really nicely tailored, I think. For a Butterick pattern, this isn't even Vogue. It is partially lined, okay? So remember that. The inside of your coat is not going to be fully lined. Which probably means there's like, oh, I don't even know. Maybe the sleeve is lined and then like, I don't, I don't know how, what they decide what is lined and what isn't. I don't know how they decide that. No vent in the back, which is also an interesting choice because when you sit down, that's going to pull. Um, but it does look really good on her. It fits her really well. Beautiful little skirt. Yeah. Okay. Suggested fabrics. Wool suiting, crepe, gabardine, linen blends. I love that they separated out skirt B to get its own suggested fabric selection so you're not getting confused between what goes with what. 
um, for the skirt, rayon blends, crepe back satin, and chalet. Really anything lightweight and drapey is going to be beautiful. And then double fold bias tape. This is all for the jacket. So shoulder pads, buttons, and then the skirt is elastic and the pants get a little zipper. So um, I'm imagining that there's some Hong Kong finishing maybe, but there's only one package. Hmm. I don't know. Can you get away with one package? Maybe. 8 to 26 on the size range. And then it looks like the, the jacket has, you know, four or five inches of ease. That makes perfect sense. The waist of B is elastic. What's the hip of B? Yeah. B hip is 38. 30, so five inches of ease, four or five inches of ease in the hip on that skirt. That's nice and comfortable. And then three or so on the pant. So a little less for the pant. That makes perfect sense to me. I mean, I don't need a suit, but if I did, I mean, I'd, be, I'd give that one a shot. Why not? Okay, is that seriously it? We're in the kids' clothes now? And the kids' clothes are undoubtedly really, really stinking cute, but I don't review kids' clothes because I don't really know what to say about them. Like, I'm not going to talk about how it fits like a little girl. Um, so there's not much to say, but they are really cute, all four of them. Very sweet and darling. I wish there was an adult version of this. I would wear it in a heartbeat. <laughs> um, all right. Well, I mean, kind of sad. Isn't Butterick one of the ones, too, where we haven't gone anything since winter? Oh, man. Yeah, that's really too bad. Too bad. Um, I've gotten really nothing to say. It's all very forget forgettable to me. Um, I'm interested to hear what you think if you are an office person. Did any of this light your fire more than me? Is it just like a difference in lifestyle and maybe I'm not the Butterick target customer anymore? Um, let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, I'll be back real soon with the No Me Spring Collection pattern review. And if you haven't seen it yet, the McCall's review is already posted. So I'll see you over there after this one. <laughs> Bye, you guys.